There's a definite integral. We've been asked to find the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x, where f of x is this piecewise defined function. So um, let's take a look and see what f of x actually looks like. We have a, a function that is f of x equals 2x for x less than 2. Okay, that is a... Um, That is a line with slope 2 through the origin, no intercept. So that's the function to the left of 2 and then to the right of 2, uh, f of x equals 1. So this is the function that we're working with, and we want to integrate from 0 to 3. So we just want the area under this curve from 0 to 3. So we want that area. That's an area we can compute because we know some geometry. So again, no, no calculus. It's just uh, understanding that a definite integral is asking for area. And in this case, we can get the area from geometry. For most functions, this won't work. For most functions, you know, you get a function that looks like, like this. Oops. And we don't have a geometric formula for the area under that thing. That's what makes this a hard and interesting problem. But for this simple example, we have geometry. The area of a triangle is 1 half times the base. And this triangle has a base of 2 times the height, which is 4. And then the area of the rectangle on the side of the triangle there is uh, length of 1, width of 1. So in the end, we have 2 times 4 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, plus 1. We have 5 as the area under that curve, the value of this definite integral. And we got there again just through the geometric considerations.